Greetings, vloggers, bloggers, followers, and potters. Dustin here from Dustin's Dynasty with another edition of this week's episode. Uh, today, I want to first mention that we got our background today, this week, is of the bike trail near my house, and uh, um, means I'm hitting the trail again. So we'll be talking about that in a separate video uh, that I will be including now called Wellness Week Update. Um, also, uh, the shirt I have on today is for Kindness Month, but we're going into Intellectual Disabilities Month, so therefore that shirt, uh, it, it was designed and developed by our local uh, Intellectual Disabilities, uh, speaking out for ourselves group, and as tag, they came up with the hashtag Kindness Fayette, because we're from Fayette County here in Pennsylvania, and um, so forth, it came up with that. So I wanted to represent that this month and when I'm doing my vlogs and my representing because it's truly where I come from and truly a good way of getting the hashtag out of great people such as myself. All right, without any further ado, we're going to get into the first half of this week's vlog. Uh, this week, we're going to talk about, um, you know, coming to realization. You know, um, when I come to realization of things, I guess... You know, I've been on this three-year REM spring of sorts. I've been discovering a little bit about and now getting back on track or at least trying to resemble a good back on track kind of thing this, this starting in March. Um, you know, still starting to learn more about myself and come to terms with more of who I am as far as it goes to what challenges I'm experiencing. So for me, I've always known you know, it's always been a childhood thing that I've had autism. Uh, you know, I think even even before I was officially diagnosed in the 90s, I think, or the nine, late 90s, I think it's in the early 90s, there was some resemblance. But however, because I had a high IQ, uh, that was dismissed and at one time was replaced with ADHD. Uh, several school years and several, several years of Ritalin. Um, we, we learned that there was more compounding issues than just uh, the um, than just the ADHD alone. And after going to multiple doctors and realizing the need for in-home services back in the late '90s, uh, I discovered we, we discovered that there is you know a, the Asperger's was created because the DSM-5 was created in '94, and I was diagnosed officially in '98. Uh, with that said. We pretty much put, because of our pressing needs, uh, puberty, and so forth, the the diagnosis of ADHD kind of went by the wayside. But it kind of went, it took a back seat for a very long time. Uh, you know, as I learned and grew and somewhat got back into resemblance and got medicated, and I, I still agree, I do need medicine. But that was back in the 90s, back in 1999 when I first got medicated and went through treatment in 2000, 2001, um, came back, you know, started growing more and more and more. As we grow more and more and more into, two, into the 2000s, 2010s, and into now, I'm becoming more of an adult. And, you know, that kind of what led the journey, I guess, three years ago to go. Um, you know, n to go to explore this, but I think the problem was, and I think I did address it in an earlier video of growing uh, about a couple weeks ago, is where, you know, I didn't address it professionally and, you know, you know, kind of took it on my own. And I do regret doing that because it did set me back, but I'm not recognize I'm more recognizing that, you know, I do need the medicine and that it is helpful. Um, now, as far as, you know, and that having the medicine that I've been on for the past 23 or so years is kind of, you know, made me kind of, you know, kind of bogged down. And I think that's where I was coming from three years ago with it. But I think I did a complete, we, we accepted the fact that we need some something. So I think sometimes, you know, admitting that you need um, something and you know, seeing, evaluating where you are, and doing a self-evaluation first before, you know, you you only have so much time with the doctor, and you don't want to keep them behind. But I think sometimes just, you know, doing a self-evaluation, journaling, um, keeping track of what what you're experiencing when you're well, and you know what struggles you're facing when you are well. 
Uh, maybe you're too sleepy. Maybe, you know, you, you can't do things that you, what you would like to do. Um, you know, just all kinds of things. I realize that because if, if I'm doing so much and I'm doing excessive amounts of things, I become burnout. And as a result, I cannot um, maintain a normal sense of, of sorts. And I do, I, I crash. And then we get into the revolving cycle of not taking the medicine. And um, then we then we get into that cycle of not taking the medicine and revolving into a relapse sorts until we get back on track. And getting back on track is sort of harder to do um, once you get off of track. So you wanna stay on track, but yet being on track can be uh, difficult to do. Um, you know, it can be very uh, challenging at times because you're so bogged down and you're so, but then maybe, you know, I'm thinking in the other hand, I'm not playing it out long enough to see how it goes. So with March coming up and we were, and when I got back on track, it was officially March 1st this week. And today's the fourth, by the way, when I'm recording this, but you know, getting back on track and deciding that, you know, maybe we need to run it for a month and a half until I see the doctor again to determine maybe is there something wrong, something needs to work on. Um, the other thing is, the other side of that coin is accepting that I have other challenges. And that may not be easy because you're already, I'm already autistic and I'm already experiencing quite a host of other challenges, uh, you know, the bipolar disorder, um, some other anxieties, but maybe you know anxiety could be tied into adhd it could be tied into autism we're not 100 percent sure and you know so i did take an adhd assessment so you know kind of wondering you know it's there and you know i think just coming to the self the terms of self-acceptance of you know accepting that and coming to terms with it um i've always been scattered but i've never really really thought it was just because of necessarily uh, ADHD or, you know, um, but it's part of the neur neurons and the neurodiverse cycle. So, you know, why wouldn't I include myself in that? Um, you know, it's just, it's just something that, you know, you want to think about, but, you know, it makes me think, you know, and then as I'm doing things and I'm realizing, for example, you know, I go to put today's uh, post on uh, Facebook, on our Facebook and Instagram platforms through Facebook business. And when I go back to Facebook, instead of closing out of Facebook, I am automatically distracted by something I see in my news, my personal news feed. And, and then I scroll and I scroll. So I definitely are scattered in that area. And I'm also scattered in being able to understand a social construct and keep within a conversation and be able to hold my thoughts until it's a turn or you know, be able not to speak out of turn or be able to just be able to listen. So there's just a lot of factors that I have to consider into that. So, you know, again, I've, I've been, you know, told that you know, I've been, I'm thinking that, you know, the positive way is to reevaluate things and, you know, take notes, you know, as much as I can to figure, to determine that, you know, whether, you know, it is something to address that could be improved or could it. And I know not everybody's for medicine, but, um, I know I need something because not for just ADHD, but maybe not even for ADHD. I'm not 100% certain, but there's a time you have to reevaluate. Um, when I was put on medicine back in the 90s, I was 15 years old. Um, we did a host of medications back in the 90s, um, from clear from uh, Ritalin back in the early 90s, but then after I got my autism diagnosis and went to a more uh, more comprehensive uh, autism, uh, not, uh, sp not specific autism, but uh, special needs, you know, place to go take care of these issues and get these addressed, uh, get the needs of my mood swings and such addressed. Um, it became it became coherent that it needed, you know, that medicine is necessary. Now, as what to why I would go off of it completely or miss doses or whatever. I just think I was in a real bad sense of freedom and a real bent, you know, didn't really have myself truly grounded. But now I think I, I totally understand that medicine for right now is necessary until some, you know, I'm just figuring out that medicine is definitely necessary. There is without no doubt, 
that medicine for myself is necessary. Now, I'm not saying I'm chronically you know, on the meds, but, you know, I think it's just important to know that medicine is important um, to address the issue of not forgetting to take or having issues sleeping with, you know, and missing the doses. Um, my day program staff have worked with me to get an app put on my phone and to set my Fitbit here to set an alarm. So hopefully that that has worked 95% uh, of the time this month, this week. So um, I'm pretty proud of that. And, you know, that would have been a lot better than what I have done. So, you know, again, I'm trying to do with March, you know, trying to keep, you know, at least for March and maybe beyond uh, to make sure I set them goals, to make sure that the, I keep with the routine as much as I can. And I seem to be doing good so far. And today's only day four and we're planning to go as planned tonight. So, you know, just, that's, just some food for thought there, you know, as we go into the spring, um, you know, it's just been, it's been just one of those, one of those things, you know, it, it's, it's a struggle. It's been a struggle. It, it, it continue, it's like, it was for a long time. It was a very, it was a very hard fight. Uh, not that it's still not hard, but it's still somewhat of a struggle and can still somewhat be of a struggle um, to have sometimes. So with that being said, I want to thank you again for listening and I hope to, I'll keep you guys posted, but thank you again for listening to this vlog and watching it on my, my YouTube channel. As a reminder, if you're watching on my YouTube channel, you can give a thumbs up or a thumbs down. You can tap that notification bell for more notifications. You can subscribe to the channel if you like. You can also uh, f follow me and like me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Dustin's Dynasty. You can uh, follow me. You can uh, follow me on Pinterest and TikTok. On TikTok, I've been more active at Dustin's Dynasty ASD. Um, also on the web at DustinsDynastyUSA.com. This podcast will be streamed to a vlog post. This, uh, I'm sorry, excuse me. This vlog will be streamed, transparent into a. A podcast that will be on many platforms at Dustin's Dynasty ASD, including Spotify. Again, I want to thank you for listening and thank you and have a good day.